Welcome to Esk. There are handy information signs all over the town, plus beautiful views of the nearby mountains. It is home to a fire station, a cemetery, a post office, some fine old houses including this one, this one, but not this one. There is a church, another church, yet another church, and finally a church. There's also lopsided memorials, a qua, some useless things, some interesting empty spaces, and an underground hospital. To learn more, I paid a visit to the local tourist information centre. There are some red things. There are some blue things. There's the Butter Factory, once a thriving manufacturer of dairy goods, but now it's a nothing. There are whirlpools in Esk. The town gun has not been fired in anger since Tuesday. There's the defunct train station that doubled as the town's jail. The Club Hotel is a popular tourist destination, an historic venue with much local character, including the time-honoured tradition of bolting boats to ceilings. Members of the Bullshit Club meet once a week here to discuss 19th century French literature. The hotel has its own undeciphered language. And there's a dartboard. We should all aim high in life. Esk has delightful cafes, such as the Eskscape Cafe, however it is temporarily out of business. There is also the much more structurally sound Nash Cafe. Menu prices range from high to frightening. Even the chair costs $5 to sit on. The roses are nice though. There is a library with its award-winning breastfeeding policy, and there is a terrifying piece of advertising. After several hours in the town, I tossed a coin into the fountain to make a wish. Damn, I'm still in Esk. And finally, I took a short walk up to the Lakeview Park lookout. This lookout is especially notable for its almost total lack of views of a lake, or of any views in general. 